snow. Come on, panther, go, go, go. Let the spirit meet the fro. So get that ball, keep it tight. That's the way we want to fight for the good old Pinasco Ha. So come on, great team, let's show them how to win. Shout out your colors loud and clear. Blue and gold for a tie, hi ho. And on the road we go. That's the spirit meet the foe. Go Panthers! I'd like to I'd like to see a good game. So I mean it was a good World Series. It was it was exciting to watch. And then I was happy that my whole family was into it. You know what I mean? We all look forward to the games. Everyone knew what game it was, who was leading in the series. Um what I was really impressed with though is that the the Dodgers payroll was I, I think I saw something on there about the Dodgers were paying three pitchers um the same or actually maybe even a little bit more this year than uh the entire team was making. You know what I mean? I so, also I also saw that their lead hitter was um their lead hitter, their his batting average was above five hundred. That's pretty right. good. Oh yeah, yeah, Mookie Betts. And then yeah, what impresses me with him is he's a little guy. You know what I mean? I, I think that's a lot of reason why I like the sport of baseball too. You you don't have to be gifted and be seven foot tall, four hundred pounds. You know what I mean? You can be. I think he was five. I think he's five nine, one seventy maybe. He's just he's just a little guy, but he was by far the most valuable player. He he was impressive. Really impressive. And if and I would also agree that like if you're sh if you're shorter, you have a, a lower center of gravity, so you have more strength when you go to hit it. You know what I mean? Right, right, definitely. Yeah. And then if you look at the Yankees, all the money they throw into their guys, and they're I mean they're massive men. You know what I mean? They're and they were at home watching the World Series with everybody else. So regardless of size, when it comes to baseball, it's it doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, like that, Aaron Judge, he was getting over, I think it said four million. Definitely. Or something, yeah. something like that. And <clears throat> I think they said that he was the Yankees' most valuable player, so they wanted to give him the higher salary. That way he would stay with them. Right. But then the thing is, too, is you look at his, his overall batting average, it's not very good. Granted, he can hit the long ball, but, but he'll also go over five with five strikeouts in another game. You know what I mean? Where if you look at Mookie Betts, on the other hand, he's he's a lot more consistent. So I mean, it's to me, it's a no-brainer. But but that's the Yankees franchise. They they want the big names. They want uh, the the long ball, of course. But brings fans. You know what I mean? It's that's what the younger generation wants to see is runs and home runs. So I mean, that's what sells. And also in the playoffs with the Dodgers, their lead pitcher also. And when they rotate, they keep each one fresh. So right. I think they said in the whole postseason, the Dodgers had over 580 strikeouts. Really? Mm -hmm. See, and that and that that could, that's kind of boring to some people. Myself, I like to see a good pitching game. You know what I mean? If, if it ends one zero and in, in nine innings, that's I'm fine with that. You know what I mean? It's that's baseball to me. Yeah, because like if the more strikeouts you get, the more that they can't hit a home run. So they can't, they can't get points if they can't hit it. Right. Right. So, so it's like, if you have, if you have one on third and one on first two in, you have like, let's just say Aaron judge with the Dodgers. So they pitch, they get him over three and it's the, and it's the, and it's the it's like the bottom of the ninth, right? right? And if they if they get him out, they're not gonna win. They're gonna end up losing because because defense is not defense always leads to good offense. Right. So if you're pitching and you get him out right away, that gives you another opportunity to it gives you another opportunity to like to take it, you know what I mean? All right. And then, and then someone like Aaron Judge, he's, he's totally one-sided. He he goes to the plate thinking home run, where, I mean, if it's a close game and you need that one run to tie, a, a good player can lay down a good bunt and, and uh, 
and get the run in like there's like like they need to. You know what I mean? But you, a power hitter, like a slugger, isn't always the best choice to get in runs. Yeah, sure, once in a while they'll make, they'll get a home run, like a long one, but they're not consistent with it. Right. So the World Series, I, it was exciting to me. I'm I'm glad it was. I'm glad it was good to watch too. You know what I mean? It wasn't wasn't a complete blowout. And then um, the Dodgers hadn't they hadn't done it in a while, so they were due. You know. <laughs> they made it every year, but they didn't get like I, I don't know if it was last year, or the year before last year, but um, I think it was the Red Sox and oh, which one else that they couldn't beat. Forgot the other one, but they couldn't beat the beat those two in the last two years. But this time they finally won it with so with I think one of their star players was injured and they had lost another one. So that kind of lost them down, but they ended up pushing through it. They, they had resiliency enough to push through the World Series and they won. Right. And it was good. There was, I mean, it, it was good that the the way Major League did it. They had them all in Texas. They kept the players as safe as possible. You know what I mean? They didn't have. It was. I liked how everything ran. You know what I mean? It was. It was kind of sad. It took them that wall that long to get it going, where we, we missed out on, on a lot of games. But it was still good that they managed to do it at least and and, and get it done. You know what I mean? And I was I was starting to worry that there wasn't even going to be a season at all. Yeah. Too bad you can get a season, you know. Hopefully, this coming year they'll, they'll figure it out and we'll be able to play. Well, thank you. I had word that we couldn't make this too long, so okay. Anyway, well, thank you for that, and you have a nice day for sure. You too. All right, see you. Me gusta tu by Manu Chow. Me gustan los aviones, me gustas tú. Me gusta viajar, me gustas tú. Me gusta la mañana, me gustas tú. Me gusta el viento, me gustas tú. Me gusta soñar, me gustas tú. Me gusta la mar, me gustas tú. Me gusta la moto, me gustas tú. Me gusta correr, me gustas tú. Me gusta la lluvia, me gustas tú. Me gusta volver, me gustas tú. Me gusta colombiana, me gustas tú. Me gusta la montana, me gustas tú. Me gusta la noche, me gustas tú. Me gusta la cena, me gustas tú. Me gusta la vecina, me gustas tú. Me gusta la, su cocina, me gustas tú. Me gusta camelar, me gustas tú. Me gusta la guitarra, me gustas tú. Me gusta el reggae, me gustas tú. Me gusta la cena, me gustas tú. Me gusta la vecina, me gustas tú. Me gusta su cocina, me gustas tú. Me gusta camelar, me gustas tú. Me gusta la guitarra, me gustas tú. Me gusta el reggae, me gustas tú. Qué voy a hacer, je no sé pas. Qué voy a hacer, je no sé plus. Qué voy a hacer, je suis perdu. Qué corazón, mi corazón. Me gusta la cena, me gustas tú. Me gusta el fuego, me gustas tú. Me gusta manejar, me gustas tú. Me gusta la coronia, me gustas tú. Me gusta malisania, me gustas tú. Me gusta la castaña, me gustas tú. Me gusta Guatemala, me gustas tú. Time comes, don't postpone it. When others doubt and out, you don't condone it. Truth be told, yourself is your toughest opponent. Hi, uh, I'm Jonathan Plouffe, and I've been going to Piasco schools for 10 years. Did you ever imagine this would be your senior year? Uh, never. I never expected this. I expected something completely different. What about you, Jordan? I expected to be in class, in school, and learning. And COVID kind of messed that up. So that's 2020. Some of them. My teachers that have helped me get through this year are Miss Alessandra Ogren and Mr. Tafoya, and give them a good shout out because they took the time to help our class and make sure that we get what we deserve.
you shine bright Cause inside your head, Hondo's the light Shadows overnight, you're nothing, then you shine bright Cause inside your head, Yeah, I feel the same Mr. Tafoya and Miss Ogren have just done outstanding things throughout our entire the entire time that we've been in high school to try to do what they can to make us make our years the best my favorite elementary teacher was probably miss romero and i had her for first grade and i loved it um i had a couple favorite elementary school teachers i couldn't really decide <laughs> probably miss esquivel she was a one and uh miss evelyn martinez she was she was a great teacher the most useful thing that i have learned during school would probably be english because i use that every day thing that I've learned throughout all my schooling is to always try to take the opportunity whenever it comes to you and try to do your best no matter what. Some of the most fun memories I have in school were probably being with all my classmates and just having fun with them, getting to know them, going on field trips, and all the above. Best memories are probably field trips, just hanging out with the class, just being cool, like having like recess, recess is fun. Uh, whenever, back whenever uh, my sophomore year, whenever we did that, we were all, all of us guys were cheerleaders. That was pretty cool. Guys in general just dressed up in cheerleading uniforms and went and danced to a dance that we had put together in front of all the students and staff members to a song that I don't even remember the song. And it was just funny. Yes, so when we dressed up, at the end of the performance, I did a little black flip <laughs> and everybody loved it. They laughed. And then I remember one time for one of my basketball games, we were tied and we had like one second left and I made the last shot to win us the game. So that was a pretty good highlight of my year. For my future, I'm actually I'm going to go to college for engineering and yeah, next year I'm going to be going. My future, I want to go to college. I want to either go for radiologist or I want to go to be a welder. Thinking about UNMLA or maybe Las Cruces, UNM. Um, but I probably want to stay close to home. But if I had the opportunity to get out of this state, I would. And yeah, I have, I've, I might go to New Mexico State University or Western University. I've already been accepted to both of them. So just have to decide. Words of advice, I would say just get up and focus on yourself. Do your best that you can do every single day because that's all you really can do. And just do your work, just get it done. Get your priorities out of the way first, get all your work done and the fun comes after. My words of advice are stick to school, make sure you get your work done, and don't goof off any of your high school years or you will regret it and you will be behind your class trying to catch up at the end of the year.
I want to thank all my friends for helping me out through all the school years and always being there for me when I really needed them. And I want to thank my mom for pushing me to always do my best no matter what. Enjoy time while it lasts because it goes by quick. Remember, you only live once. You ready to use the coin? serious you're going to sleep one day you're going to fall off that thing just a toy popsy but you're nice okay are you serious you're not talking to me talk to me talk to me talk to me okay Okay guys, today we're going to show you the my comics today. The first one is going to be the Uncanny X-Men, made from Marvel Comics. An X-Men anniversary spectacular. And this coin is still like $4 made in May. This is issue 300. Even has those old commercials. There's the title. For some reason it doesn't tell me the year. And here is inside of it. Okay, the second one's going to be issue one. Spider-Man The Lost Years, issue 1, August, Marvel Select. And here's the front of it. It's really rare to my dad. And uh, this one looks like it was made a little, it, it, it seems a little younger, because it has better uh, writing than the old ones and better paper and it comes with bags too I'm gonna show you my other one okay I got three more comics and I guess we're gonna be done let me take this out real quick okay this one seems a little bit lighter like a piece of paper and there's the front Avengers West Coast uh, the agony of the agent Costed for two dollars, I mean one dollar and twenty five cents in September. And this is issue 98, it even has the uh, Mortal Kombat commercial in the background. Has those things for the gen old Genesis. There's the inside of it. Okay, the other one's going to be the Mighty Thor. It's a shock ending 47 fifth issue. It's the back of it, the inside of it. And that was the other one. That was that one. Okay, here's the last one that I'm going to show you guys. This one is called the Spawn. Issue 31, $1.95. And it has the, that. Uh, that might be disturbing. And that's what it looks like in the inside. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video.
And yeah, bye. If you could just play one video game all day and you had to pick one, one game, what would you play? I'd play Among Us. So what game would you play? Roblox. So there's all kinds of mini games. So, so I like it. All right, can you can you tell our viewers and listeners a little bit about like show us how your game how it starts and what is the object of the game? So the object of the game is to uh, get as many kills as you can and to remain in the circle, which is what and I collected it. So as you collect circles, you can uh, get more points. Um, you could go to, in the desert, which where I am in. Um in the middle of the mountains or in the middle of nowhere or in or in alaska awesome all right that sounds great carlos so thanks for sharing that you're welcome and then press find the game then you load into this. Well, you could also press private or create game. And then press a game. And then I'll just show you a map. And then if you're a crewmate, you have to do all your tasks. And if you're an imposter, you have to get all the you have to kill all the crewmates and blame it on others and and if someone suspects you then they tell the others and like if they see you vent or something and right now i'm crewmate and and here's admin so i have to do my task look look Three nine. The codes are different every time though. Three nine two four one. Then you press the check mark. Has completed. I'll just talk about what what I like about it. I like about Minecraft is that. I like to build stuff in it, and I like to to play this game a lot. It's like it's one of my favorite games, and your goal is to beat this dragon, and then after you beat the dragon, you could do whatever you want, or you don't even need to beat the dragon. Dragon, it's like a sandbox where you could do. You could do whatever you want and stuff. And the stuff I don't really like about Minecraft is that, like, you gotta play for a long time, or like, you could play for. I like playing for a long time, but some of it makes you play for a long time, because sometimes, because this game is based around like luck, because you could find like randomly generated things like let's say a village they're super rare to find some or they're not but they're hard to find sometimes and it could take most of your time and that's that's the only thing i don't like about minecraft i like call of duty because me and my brother play played a lot but probably my favorite game is 2k, 2K yeah um Call of Duty is fun because you can just play with your friend or with random people and you could just like you can have teams if you want or you could be single player you can do battle royale so there's like a lot of things you can do here's a picture of Call of Duty right here it's not as animated as, it's like really um realistic but like when you get over here it's not realistic at all just the ground and stuff
and your guy. But like, it's more realistic than Fortnite and Venge because they're like a lot more animated and there's more guns. There's definitely more guns and you can use vehicles. Well, you can use vehicles in Fortnite, but not in Venge or Call of Duty. Or Call of Duty. Well, you can, but like helicopters and planes. You could lose like you can use like a tank if you're on a mission sometimes. But probably my favorite is the missions, cause they're like fun and all that stuff. I like about Fortnite is that it's a good game. I like that you could build in it and like it's just a really on it's just a fun game and what and what I don't like about it is that like people are, are like like get mad for no reason in the game and then or people like like are good like people like pros like people are good and sometimes it's hard to play because people are too good and and it's a it's like it's a battle royale game where or the last one standing wins um my name is Lysnell and today i will be previewing half of the fortnite chapter 2 season 5 battle pass um, I hope you enjoy. So this is the C um, chapter two, season five, battle pass preview, I guess. So this is the Mandalorian. As you can see, he's pretty cool. Uh, but if you like put a black bling on, um, it sort of looks kind of weird. Like, cause the cape is is included with him. So like, if you put anything else on, it will look kind of weird. So that's the Mandalorian. This is some music you get. Devour Rise of the Devourer. This is a little banner icon, like when you're playing Fortnite, people could see it, right? Like 100 V-Bucks, 100 free V-Bucks. Um, a spray, which you can like spray on anything. I don't think you can spray on cheese though. This is a little loading screen, like when you're loading into a game or you're getting loading out of a game. This is like what you'll see. This is the child. It's like a little emoticon like that. This is a glider, Razor Crest. It's the Mandalorian's ship and the Mandalorian. And this is the wrap. This is a Great Fusion wrap. It's for um, a skin we're about to get to. This is also a wallpaper that you'll see when you're loading into a game. This is a back bling that you like. It like there. It comes with a gray style too, and a blue style. I'm pretty sure. So another hundred B box. This is dot free. This includes with the battle pass. So, if you want the free V-Buck, I mean, if you want those V-Buck, you gotta buy the Battle Pass. This is, um, this is, wait. Um, this is, like, um, a little modicon like the other one that we saw. And this is the Contra. When you're gliding down into, like, the map, this is what you'll see. And then there's Reese. It's, there, it comes with a gray, blue, gold, silver, and purple slab. So if you want those, you gotta level up, like a level up to like level 100, I think. And this is her emote, Booming. So it's pretty cool. This is a spray, drop out. Like you can spray like on, I don't think you can do it on trees like again, but you can spray it anywhere. This is her pickaxe. It like has electricity coming. It's like a basic, basically like power cords like together and this is another v buck but it's not free you have to buy a paddle pass again this is her glider but like yeah that's it's like wings like metal pink wings